We're in Dixie Heights. Today is November 6, 2023. I'm Luke. And I'm Brayden. And this is and the this Dixie, Dixie Heights, Heights News. News. Mr. Stanforth has said everyone in the building has done such an amazing job over the course of the first trimester that he is giving everyone, staff and students, the day off on Tuesday, November 7th. Use this day to recharge your batteries for the upcoming exams and get caught up on any missing schoolwork. Speaking of <laughs> upcoming exams, at the end of the first trimester, is quickly approaching. Please make sure you are assigned to the proper classes in Pride, turning all missing assignments in, and make sure your next trimester schedule is correct for what you need to be successful. Today will not be your normal Monday Pride. Please sign up for your own Pride class if you need help or see if you've been pulled by a teacher. And now to Fitzinator and Hank the Tank for Sports. Good morning, it's Fitzinator and Hank the Tank. It's a great day, Dixie. Congratulations to our football team on their big win on Friday over Woodford. The huh. final score was 60 to 14. Hudson Blake and Brock Rice both had two touchdowns. Benny Wamble with a 40 yard reception for a touchdown. Carter Shore had a scooping score. LJ Matozinga and Dave Anderson both had a rushing touchdown. Colonel Pride, Pride and now back to the Dixie News. Are you interested in making a difference? Do you have any interest in tutoring elementary school kids? If this sounds like you, consider signing up for Hanner's Heroes. Hanner's Heroes is a mentorship program that pairs 65 students with elementary students from Hinsdale. Hanner's Heroes program will be held after school at Hinsdale. If you're interested, stop by Dr. G's office or find Ada Snelling to get a form. Our first meeting will be at Hinsdale in the cafeteria on November 9th at 3. If you are unable to attend the meeting, turn in your forms to Dr. G or Ada Snelling. Hope to see you there. Do you have pictures you'd like to submit to the yearbook? We're looking for Halloween costume pictures, homecoming pictures, and sports photos. Scan the QR code to submit them directly to the yearbook site. You can scan the yearbook posters around the school to upload as well. From the desk of Ms. Rohan, opportunities for students in November during Pride to talk with a representative from the following schools. November 9th, Army Recruiter. November 15th, EKU. November 16th, University of Cincinnati. November 21st, Bellarmine University. Now for, now for the launch venue with David and Allen. Hello y'all, this is David and this is Alan with the lunch menu. Today's lunch is Mandarin orange chicken, fried rice, Asian broccoli, stir fry veggie blend, Mandarin oranges, pepperoni and cheese pizza, PB&J box and entree salad. Alright, Wednesday's breakfast is cereal chocolate milk, biscuits and gravy, unsweetened applesauce, and 1% low fat milk. And now back to the fantastic mainstream news. As is November 14th, we'll be testing all seniors who are not college or career ready. Any student can sign up with Ms. Rohan or in the counselor's office if they're interested in taking it. The ASVAB can help you determine your own interests and aptitude, even if you are not planning to enter the military or are undecided. It reveals areas of strength and ability in math, science, and language, which will help you choose courses for college and make your personal career decisions. Interested in JROTC? The JROTC recruitment process for 8th graders have begun. Current 9th to 11th graders can also apply to the program for next year. See Ms. Rohan if interested. The duck has found a new hiding spot. Here is your first clue. In a place of hush and lore, a feathered friend you might explore. And remember, remember Dixie, Dixie, make today, today better than, than yesterday. yesterday. Aaron shows the <laughs> Dixie Heights, are you ready? Come be part of the fastest growing sport in America, lacrosse. Conditioning starts Tuesdays and Thursdays, three to five. We've got a great core team of players ready to go for the season, but we could always use more. We went 13 and five last year. Come out and help the team. Let's go Dixie.